Hey, what's up guys? It's Mo again, back here with another fragrance video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the 10 most expensive fragrances in my collection retail-wise and how much I paid for them or how I got them. So I'm not including discontinued fragrances because I'm not sure if they have a retail price. But yeah, let's just get straight to it. No particular order. We'll just jump. I have a couple fragrances right here. So here. So Imitation Man by Amouage. This is speaking for majority of the Amouage uh, Man collection. So they, even though they retail for more than 300 bucks on the website, you can get any of these like Imitation Man, Jubilation, Reflection from, I've seen from 140 to $180 on eBay, like reputable dealers or sites like Max Aroma and stuff. So yeah, the, for majority of my Amouages, I paid around 140 to 180. So yeah, that's um, number 10. Let's go to number eight. We'll go... Um, Armand Jane Taif. Now the retail price for this was 220 or 240, but I got this at a Scent Explorer, uh, the event in New York. I got a when you go there, they give you a sixty dollar coupon code or whatever. So I ended up getting this for 160, I believe. So that was a pretty good deal, and I really like this fragrance. So pretty good. So that's number nine, number eight. Just picking at random. Here, this is a. Uh, Maison Francis Kirk John's Grand Soir. The retail for this big size, 6.7 ounce, was 350, I believe, on their website. And I paid around that because I did get this from their website. Um, I think it was around like 340 or 350. But I decanted some of it out and you know I recouped some of the cash. And it, it's stunning fragrance, lasts forever. I don't need that much. I got about 30 mLs left. That's gonna last me a long time. So that was um number crap, nine. 10, 9, 8. Yep, number 7. <laughs> I can't count. Number 7, we'll stick to the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Baccarat Rouge 540, so I don't have much left. Retail for this is pretty high. I think I've seen it for like 250 to 300. I got this for a good deal. I got almost a full bottle. I got like a partial, about 90% left for 150. Uh, again, Facebook group. Join the Facebook groups. There's always some good deals on them. So, yeah, that was a pretty good deal for me. So this is uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 by MFK. Next, we will go to, what am I at? Six, I believe. Six. Right. Six, we'll go to <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540 x -Trait. So this is a little bit more pricier than the original Baccarat Rouge 540. Retail for this is ridiculous, man. I've seen on the higher-end stores like 350 almost to 400 bucks. And this is just your 2.7 or 2.4 ounce bottle. Again, Facebook group, I paid around 200 bucks for almost a full bottle. So join the Facebook groups, man. You do get good deals. This one is great. Ah, fantastic. Awesome fragrance. I like it. So that was a uh, six. So now we're down to the five. Again, no, it's no particular order. Um, number five would be Mirror Imperial. This one retails uh, the Armani Privé line. I've seen them at like Saks or you know the Burn Burnoff Goodman whatever you call them I don't know um, Neiman Marcus they go for around two twenty to two sixty in the U S but I've never seen Mirror Imperial so I actually saw this in Paris and I had to get it and I I got this on eBay actually I tracked down the seller he was uh, he lived in Brooklyn which is very close to me and then I kind of lowballed him I got this for like one. 20 or 140 so yeah that was just me um doing my research and uh being very persistent so yeah i got this for a good good deal so a lot less than the retail price so again retail price around like 260 280 i got it for i think 120 or 140 i completely forgot so number five mirror imperial um number four let's dive into the house of, of frederick mall portrait of a lady by frederick mall this one retails for about 300 or 350 i believe I got this for close to retail, 300 from a reputable dealer on eBay, and it was 100% legit. And um, yeah, I went ahead and I bought myself a, a second backup bottle just just in case I run, ran out, I run out of this. Very, very nice. I got this from a UK store, actually. I forgot what the name was. Um, some store up in London. But yeah, again, the retail was like, what, 350-ish? I got it for... What did I say? 260? Something around that. 260, 280. So yeah, Portrait of a Lady. Um, now we're going to go to number three, which... Eh, what is this? Blah, blah, blah. Promised by the House of Frederick Mall. This is very expensive. A 50 ml is going to cost you retail around 275. I snagged this for about 175. Again, Facebook group. Got to join the Facebook groups, man. I paid 100 less. I, 
I wish I coughed up more cash and bought the 100 ml because I really like this one. So this is Promise by the house of Frederick Mall. Very nice. Um, number two, since it's here and we're staying in the house of Frederick Mall, um, this is The Moon by Frederick Mall. This one retails for like 500 bucks, man. This is ridiculous. Like this is very, very expensive. Um, but I got this from a UK uh, website. I forgot the name. I, I, I should have came more prepared, but yeah, it was from a store up in London. And yeah, I got this for when you convert it around 350 USDs for the um, 50 ml and the retail for the 50 ml is very, very high. It's like more than $400. Like I've seen in the 500 range. So this is very expensive. The Moon by the House of Frederick Mall. But I think I got a good deal. And the last one will be one that I really wanted to get. This is Overture Man by Amouage. Man, you know I love Amouage. And this one I've been trying to get forever. Oh my goodness. This one is like a Harrods exclusive only. Not available in, in the US. I traded my second bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Oud Sil Silk Mood by MFK. And I ended up getting a little uh, partial. I think there's like seven, 60 or 70 mLs. Beautiful. So you do your shopping. You talk to people. Do some trades. That's the best way to go about it. And um, yeah, I don't know. My fragrance journey is not over yet. There's still a few other fragrances I want to get. So I, I got to work a little harder. Do a couple more trades. Do a little bit of negotiating. But you know what? Right now I'm very satisfied with my collection. And yeah. So that was like, a, you know, maybe I'll do a tag. I'll tag uh, Dr. Fragrance, I'll tag Beyond Sense, and I'll tag Sing Sense. Check out those channels and hey, let me know what are your most expensive fragrances in your collection and how much you paid for them or how'd you get them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.